So we're here with another one of Colchester's young stars, Paul Barham. Paul Boogaloo Barham, can you tell us a little bit about your, uh, your fancy nickname? Well, we went away for a darts weekend and uh, I attempted to uh, go on a dance floor, which, which obviously went horribly wrong, and uh, hence the nickname. <laughs> Boogaloo, I like it. So you're, you're doing really well on the PDC tour at the minute, on the yeah. youth tour. Tell us about how that's going and how your season's yeah, doing well. so far. Uh, first time I've obviously played in it and uh, I've started doing well. Won a couple of competitions. I lost in the final and one in Austria and got, earned quite a bit of money. I'm up to number three at the moment. Number so. three, fantastic. Yeah. How do you find it, Paul, financially? Because obviously we, we're looking at um, hopefully investing some money in, in the youth tour and, and kind of looking for a, a protégé for some of the senior, uh, senior professionals. How is it financially? How do you find it? Uh, well, I've got a, a friend who I play with on the Super League and he obviously financially helps me. Right. So it helps out quite a lot. Yeah. Without that, how would you... How would I, you I, wouldn't be able, I would probably wouldn't be able to do it. So. You wouldn't be able to do no. it. That's, yeah, because obviously, I mean, some of the events you have to pay to enter, don't you? And obviously yeah. on the, on the senior, so, senior tour, it's the same. But, yep. you know, financially, it is quite difficult. But I, I've heard a bit about you, Paul, and you, you're a great darts player, but obviously you're, you're a bit of a character as well. I mean, personal life, what, what kind of interests have you got and what, what do you like doing when, uh, you're, not, when you're not on the darts? It's normally either football or a darts sort of thing. That's okay. all it is, really. Just play darts all the time and then support South End, so yeah. local side. Oh, dear. No, no, I'm a joke. <laughs> Well, I'm a Barnsley fan, I can't really say anything, can I? So, <laughs> <laughs> so Paul, we've established you've, you've obviously got quite a lot of character. Do you think it's important for the game of darts, going in at such a you know a young age, um, do you think it's important to have some character about you? Yeah, of course it is, because obviously you want to be, when you play this game, you want to get noticed, and that's what it's all about. And So you think, I mean, obviously with, <laughs> with sponsorship as well, if you get yourself out there, um, you know, you not only obviously on the dartboard, but you've got to have a bit of banter with the crowd, haven't you? And do, yeah, do you find so. in, in your games, you, you know, you, you kind of do that? You do when, when you're playing well, obviously, you do. And then obviously, when, it, when you're serious, you've got to be serious. But it's good to get involved with the crowd on that. Absolutely. So, it's good. so what's, your, what's Paul Barham? If you, if you saw yourself in a few years, what, you know, what do you, you hope um, potentially to achieve in darts? Uh, make a living and play, obviously, on the PDC tour. And be obviously in the top 32, sort of thing. That's what, that's what I'm looking at. So. Yeah. Perhaps a world champion one day. Yeah, of course, it is. That's, that's our dream. That's everyone's dream. Do you think so. you've got. It's interesting with darts because obviously I've just been talking to a, um, obviously a 14 year old um, lad, Jamie, who's, who's almost, you know, he's a ten, almost it's a 10 darter. Do you, think it's, uh, do, you, do you think you've got the consistency? If you apply yourself to, to, to be at the top of that game and, and, and average as, as good as, as the well, best players yeah, do. Well, the thing is, we play a lot of opens and a lot of the PDC boys play in the opens as well. And yeah. I've played quite a few and I've beat, well, I've beat quite a few, few as well. So, so if you play, you play everyone so many times, it's. Can you name some of your casualties for us then? Who uh, you beat on the Mark circuit? Walsh. Mark Walsh, great yeah. player. Uh, Alex Roy. Yeah. I've beat Martin Adams, Terry Jenkins. Have you beaten Martin Adams? Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, I bet a few good players, so. <laughs> I love the fact that you beat Wolfie, that's good, I like that. So if Paul Barron wasn't playing darts, what would you what would you do for a living, do you think? If you if there wasn't any darts, what, what would you what would you be your career? Uh, probably making windows with window fabrication, yeah. But in a in an ideal world, if you had a dream career, what would it be? Uh, well, probably a professional football player. But... Professional footballer. So you're very sporty. Yeah, yeah, always have been. So. Excellent. And if you could have any celebrity, alive or dead, around to your house for a, for a meal, uh, for an evening, who would it be, and why? What do you think? Oh, that is a funny question. That is question. a difficult question. Isn't it? it can be a few people, John. Any heroes? Anybody inspire you in life? Probably be Phil Taylor. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Well, hopefully you'll be getting to meet Phil soon, and yeah. hopefully you'll be his new protege. So, It'd be uh, nice. Paul, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers.